This is just a quick video on the uh, battery heating system I put in my uh, toy haul, a travel trailer. Uh, I recently switched over from AGM batteries to lithium batteries and uh, as you might know you can't charge lithium batteries at freezing or below. So you either have to stop charging them or you need to keep them warm. You need to keep them above freezing somehow. So here's the way I did it. First thing I did was I ordered a temperature control unit from Amazon. It was a whopping $17 for this device. And it can be set so that it turns on a 12 volt circuit at whatever temperature you want and then turns it off at whatever temperature you want. As you can see it's 44.7 or 0 0.6 degrees Fahrenheit right now in the battery box, not here where the controller is. There's a wire that runs over to the battery box with a thermostat or a, a probe I guess you would call it. Now what I also did is I added an on off switch so I can simply shut this whole system on or off uh, if I want, you know, during the summer certainly I'm going to need it at all, so no reason to turn it on and have any parasitic draw. And then another thing that I did is I added an LED right here to the outside of the travel trailer. Um, inside the travel trailer I can tell whether the heater pad is on or off because the battery monitor will show that it's drawing roughly about four and a half, five amps when the heater is on. But if I happen to be outside or walking by the trailer, it might be a good idea to be able to see whether the heater is on or not if it's pretty cold out. So anyways, it was really nothing to do, so I just threw an LED right in there. So the wiring from this device now runs under the trailer and comes over here to my battery box. And what I used is a Falcon uh, tank heater, and it's designed to heat a water tank and keep it from freezing in a trailer. Uh, it has an adhesive backing on it that you would normally just glue to the bottom of your water tank. Uh, I peeled off the paper exposing the adhesive. I didn't want to stick it on the batteries. I just didn't think that would be a good idea because it's a pretty aggressive adhesive. So I just simply put aluminum foil where the adhesive was. And this pad just simply slides down in back of the batteries. Now this box I welded up a, a while back and as you can see it's insulated. It has closed cell inf insulation on the bottom, the sides. Uh, I'm actually going to put a little small piece here to keep this area uh, insulated. And I have two Renogy uh, AGM batteries. Now these batteries are pretty nice because they do have low temperature cutoff. So if they're in a situation where they're getting down to around 33 degrees, they will shut themselves off so they won't be charged at freezing. Um, but I camp in high desert down in New Mexico and Arizona, and uh, during the night it can get down to the 20 degrees, and sometimes it'll stay there for a few days, and then all of a sudden it'll be 70 degrees. It's just very weird about the desert. So what I did is I mounted the pad inside against the back of the batteries, this is the temperature probe that's just simply sitting here monitoring the total temperature of this entire box. Um, it's important to keep the batteries warm all the time. Some people are suggesting, ah, oh, just turn on the heater, you know, at 4 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock in the morning. The problem with that is the ambient temperature around the batteries might be well above freezing, but the core temperature of the batteries is still freezing. Um, these batteries have uh, built-in, uh, well they all have a BMS, but this BMS has Bluetooth. I can monitor the temperature of the batteries um, through Bluetooth. And uh, I can tell you that, uh, although it hasn't really gotten cold enough up here in New England yet, it's November, and we've had these 70 degree days up until just recently, uh, I can tell you that these batteries in the morning, the temperature of the compartment will be in the 50s, but the batteries can still be into the low 40s. 
the internal temperature of the batteries. So it takes quite a while to bring the internal temperature of the batteries up with a small heat pad like this. So the object of the game is to keep the batteries warm all the time. I've set the temperature control unit to come on at 35 degrees and go off at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So therefore, no matter what happens, the batteries will always be above freezing. The entire compartment will be above freezing. So anyways, that's basically what we got going on here with our battery heating circuit. Our total cost was about $50. Uh, the $17 or $18 for the controller, and I think that heating pad was $39. Um, so, and, and a, a little on-off switch and an LED light. But my little compartment in here is getting a little crowded. As you can see, this is where my solar charge controller is, my inverter, the water filter and pressure gauge for a built-in compressor that this trailer has, um, and everything else under the sun in there, and uh, getting a little crowded. But anyways, that's the story for the heated battery situation. And uh, there will be more information on my website, www.com rvbprecision.com Roger Victor Bravo Precision.com Thanks for watching.